how did you meet your current partner, if you don't mind me asking? Actually, I met him on Tinder, Ooh. which is always really, it, yeah, Easy. it's like kind of spicy, I know. Um, people are always like, you met him on Tinder? Yeah, but um, we were also a little bit younger, so I think it, the demographic on Tinder is a little bit different when you're in college versus like when you get a little bit older. So, oh. um, but yeah, online dating, I mean, Tinder success story, it worked for me. So you guys, you can get Courtney Ryan if you download Tinder. <laughs> Not her, but you know, a corny rhyme, a wife. <laughs> Not that there's anyone who's a wife, but anyway, um, <laughs> what, what, how did he like? Did he have like good texting? What was? Do you remember what his approach was like? Yeah, so uh, he had great pictures, and that was instantly kind of what you know drew me to him. I think when you're on a dating app, I know it's very like shallow and superficial, but the first impression of appearance means so much more on a screen, even more so than it does in person, because that's all you're seeing. You don't even know them. So you're really just being exposed to, you know, their photos. So that's automatically kind of what catches your eye. And then, you know, girls get so many messages. Like I, I've talked to my guy friends about it and they'll, they'll be like, I got like two messages today. And I'm like, I got like a thousand. Mm -hmm. So it, it's drastic, the difference. So if you're a guy messaging a girl on a dating app, the odds are kind of more slim for you. So if you want to stand out, you kind of have to say something that catches her attention or that stands out, you know, in the sea of other guys. Yeah. So, well, what are some things like, like, can you give some examples of that? I have done a video about it. And basically I think the best approach is to like use her profile as like context clues. Uh -huh. So something that if she posted a picture about something or her bio says something, your message should kind of tie into that. Because I think a lot of guys get caught up in doing like the one liners or the corny things. And I mean, so many guys send them, she's probably getting 20 other messages just like that. So I think really crafting a message specific to her profile is the best thing you can do. Because it shows that you care and you're like listening already and paying attention to what she's saying. Mm, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, well, one, one thing I always say, though, and let me know if you agree or disagree with this, but that you want to make a uh, message crafted based on her pictures and not her bio. And the reason my logic is that we actually did an experiment. We created a profile as a girl and uh, we oh. found that pretty much every guy. That's the kind of sick shit we get into playing with fire. And we found <laughs> that um, every guy was referencing the bio or doing a standard pickup line where they were not referencing her photos. Because I think okay. that takes a little more creativity to be like, okay, she has a photo for doing this, this, and this versus the bio is just easier. So, oh, she likes dogs. Hey, I heard you like dogs. Um, right. Yeah, that's corny. Yeah. Actually, that is a really good point. I think when my boyfriend messaged me, he said something about – my photos. I had like traveled abroad or something and my pictures kind of showed that. And he said, Hey, it looks like we like similar things. Like, well, and then he brought up like the travel or whatever. So yeah, it tied into my photos. That makes total sense. Mm -hmm.